Merry Christmas Eve, everyone. Day 24. We are really hoping... At the Nave. We are really hoping this beer is the Hallowed Be Thy Name of beers. It's the Base Ooh. Free. <laughs> Hallowed Be Thy Name of beers. Hey, we're the Rambling Nave. We're regular ass dudes who do beer reviews in a basement, and I'm kind of sad that this is the and last other day things. of Advent. We do do other things. We do uh, music reactions, which uh, I will say people don't necessarily like because we're honest. Like, or, we're kind of mean, but we're honest. Or we just, like, run our mouths yeah, in like, We do run our mouths. in there. Yeah. Look, oh, so, as you can hang see... Hang on. This is sad. Look at this, yeah. this sad, empty box. Of, and it's taken us 24 days. We didn't just power through these in a few. Look, I'm going to have... I, I'm already having separation anxiety. Yeah. No. You can take this home. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it's been a good time here at the Nave. We've had a lot of fun doing our advent calendar. Uh, for you out there in TV land. That's Might have to it. just keep this box, what's left of it, and refill it. For Every Jan month. January yeah. event. January event. All yeah. right, so day 24 is, we finish this off with an O'Shea's. Okay. And, I mean, this seems pretty on the nose. This is an O'Shea's winter ale. And again, we've expressed this a couple times on the show, that winter ales taste like blackouts. Yep. Which isn't so necessarily a bad thing but they just have a very specific memory. So yeah, we'll be right back. Wait a minute, is, is this really Christmas Eve? This yes. is Christmas Eve. We've been Hello. down here for like three and a half weeks. Doing nothing but drinking. I don't know what day it is. Well, we've done a few other things. Yeah, yeah, well, there's that. I mean, so, this is a pretty standard Christmas for me to be. <laughs> <laughs> I certainly am. I certainly am. So, O'Shea's has been up and down. There, it has the best beer, and I'm fairly certain it also has the worst beer. Which, coincidentally, unsurprisingly, was an IPA. Yeah. Mmm, I don't know. I mean, we'll, we'll check. Yeah, we'll, 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 we'll go, we'll consult the brief. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> but we're allowed to go off strip. Off strips. Off script. Script, because it's the last day. So what you got? What's the worst? He can't read his own handwriting. That's well, there is the that. Yeah, but there's also a one, two, three here. Well, do you do two, two, one is worse or one, two, three? Would you want to like add them up and then divide by three to take? That's got to be the worst because there's no three. Right, the three discounts this two. I'm sorry, this is taking so long. Yeah, so it does. O'Shea's have the worst. has the worst, and it was the let me lover. let me um, entertain you with a pleasing interlude while we uh, figure out what was the worst. Beat. I hope it's not a bass do, interlude. Do, 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 do. Okay, is that the girl from Ipanema? I think that was no. I Dream of Cheese. That's I Dream of Cheese. No, it's all girl from Ipanema. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> our last beer is the O'Shea's Winter Ale, which, like Brandon said, is very fitting. This well-balanced pale ale combines the You're sweetness... You're from Ipanema! Ghost driving. <laughs> combines the sweetness of Irish barley malt... And girls from Ipanema. Sure, and, and girls from Ipanema, from Ipanema with select hops <laughs> to create a spicy... Seasonal and we're treat. Out fun, happy girl from it is a five percenter. This scares me. <laughs> and like I said, this should be the hallowed be thy name of booze. Oh. This, if you are keeping up with the mixtape, hallowed be thy name fucks. This would be the last four minutes of Damage Incorporated, where it's just to the face. To the face. It should be a mini keg of whatever that Irish stout was full of 2112. From O'Shea's. You, it starts out amazing, it ends amazing, and you are shit hammered and don't really understand what just happened to yourself. But you're excited that it happened. Yeah. So that, the color is nice. It's got a little bit of a haze to it. It has a little bit of a haze, but it's nice and, and, and clear oh, enough. Boy. No? Oh, man. It's an interesting scent. Like I said, my... It smells like sock. My smell buds are fucked. No, no, hang on. There's... It's spicy. Like, there's a... I don't know. I can... I can there's a tiny hint of, like, those, uh, like, Christmas spices, like nutmeg. I think there's cinnamon in there. No, I get it. It's like that, uh... What are they called? The socks you hang up. Those <laughs> stockings? Stockings. <laughs> the ones you jizz in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like one of those. That you jizz in, and then you put Christmas treats in, 
and then you take back and jizz in them, but you keep reusing it, it kind of, Brandon's right, it smells like that sock. <laughs> it smells like it. It smells like your present sock that you come in. <laughs> Are you coming in the present socks? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, okay. It's a winter ale for sure. I don't know that it's a good. This is the weak. This is like <clears throat> the song. Yeah, no, you were good right there. This, is, this was the. <clears throat> Oh, I'm sorry. This is that song you put on there to, like, ease out. Kind of. Or, like, really express your emotions, you know? Like, <laughs> oh, that really em cripplingly embarrassing song? Yeah. You'd be like, sup, girl? This is my chemical romance, <laughs> and I'm ending the album. <laughs> no, this is Bill Biv DeVoe. You, you just go, like, weird off-topic. <laughs> like, just all know. of a sudden... Uh, like, I, I, okay. It's, Crossroads it's, yeah. from Bone Thugs plays at the end. You're just like, hey, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. That's a good ending. I would love that as an ending to a song. Yeah, right? but it makes no sense. It doesn't, point. Dude, but this, this, well, no, this but hang on, it kind of does. It kind of does, though, because the song's all about parting ways, and I'll see you in the afterlife when we meet again. I was going to say. That being said, it's This is not... Bone Thugs and Harmony. No, but that's, that's disrespectful to Bone Thugs because you know it drags like this down. Yeah, no, that's that's not true. That song would be, this would be like the best winter rail I've ever had if it was that song. But it's not. It's like discount Bone Thugs and Harmony. So it's just Thugs and Harmony? There's no Harmony. It's, it's just Bone Thugs No, it's and... just Bones. <laughs> <laughs> that's a TV show. Right? Yeah. Yeah, it's that TV show, which sucks. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's another, like, discount crime show with some, you know, ineffectual... Uh, dude from Buffy. Yeah, the dude from... The ineffectual dude from Buffy, and then some uh, token red-haired chick who looks... Who's no, supposed to be Scully. I would have been excited. Just started re-watching X-Files, by the way. The oh, wife and I... Isn't it so good? It's, like, I mean, I've first, watched it through a few first, times. first, like, five seasons... Hey, wait like, a minute. Awesome. Isn't one of the first seasons it's got the butthole mouth monster? Yeah, the fluke man. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but we were in a show hole, and we decided, you know what? There's like 13 seasons of X-Files and a couple movies. This should be up sometime. Hey, which season has the one that gave me nightmares as a kid where those inbred people mm. murder a bunch of people? It's like five or six. That one terrified me as yeah, a child. That one was because that... they murder like the police chief or whatever, and the yeah. wife is hiding under the bed, no, and she's like horribly the... terrified, and then like the blood starts to seep under the bed, and then she makes noise, and they flip it and kill her. And I was just like, I saw that when I was young, and I was terrified that uh -huh. just weird inbred people were going to murder it's, me. And that's funny, because... That was the only time that it was ever aired on TV because it was so fucked up. They showed it once and we were like, we shouldn't have done that. God, I'm so place. glad I saw that on the <laughs> television. That's what this beer is. It's being terrified of inbred people trying to murder you. It's like the hills have eyes. But more scary. It's not... I don't know. I'm, I'm disappointed. Again, it's I, like... Yes, I am. This is not Damage Incorporated. This is like a... a um, it's like that local band that covers Metallica doing Damage Incorporated uh, at the local bar. Man. No, but they don't even do that. Like, they don't... like. Local they just do Master of Puppets over. No, they're just like... Over, Thank you! Over, you know, we're like... We're riding the lightning! No, no, no! They, they are Damage Incorporated. They are a cover, a Metallica cover band called Damage Incorporated. And then they never actually play Damage Incorporated. But they just end with Enter Sandman yeah. for like 15 minutes. They just cover the whole bam, Black bam, Album. Bam. Yeah. They just which cover is, the which, Black Album, throw in a couple bits from St. Anger in there. Incidentally, is another one of those songs I could go the rest of my life without ever hearing again and live a perfectly happy life. This is... Ending your mix with Enter Sandman and thinking it's a good closer. Dude, that's perfect. <laughs> yeah. It would have been awesome when I was 13. Right, yeah. At that point... When, when you, you first heard it, and you're like, this would be great on a mixtape. And then you grew up. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, that's true. Because like when I was like seven... And I thought Enter Sandman was like the heaviest song in the universe because I was seven. It was like, hang on, I don't want to enter the Sandman. <laughs> but it was heavy. I wanted in the dark. Yeah. Then I grew up. And then I was listening to Injustice for All. You could have like, just stopped it, and then I grew up. <laughs> no, but then, you know, I went back and was like, 
And Justice for All is the greatest album ever made. I mean, that's debatable, but it is a really good album. That being said, yeah, this is your local Metallica cover band called Damage Inc. that closes their set with Enter Sandman. Why wouldn't they call it Exit Sandman? <laughs> <laughs> They're not clever. <laughs> They're clearly just doing this for the free booze. This is like... Um, that they're not getting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> As they're playing no, it. No, no. At a dance club. <laughs> <laughs> no, usually, even if your band sucks, like, they'll still give you drink tickets. I know. I did that. Hey, WTSK <laughs> was fired, dude. We were really drunk a lot. Yeah, that's right. you guys were awesome. I've listened back to our shows. Yeah, and they were cool as <laughs> shit. I was there. <laughs> And I can't believe that the bar owner was like, I'm really glad I paid them. No, there yeah. you go. So what do you give the, the final? <laughs> the finale beer? Yeah, I, I feel like we need to throw one more beer in there because this is not a way to end it. Like, no. we need that secret secret sauce at the All end. Right. I tell you what, we'll rate it and then we'll take a quick break and we'll come back with something special. Yeah, we'll come back with damaging. All right. We will give, I will give this a four. It, it, it. Like, and I think that's being beneficial. Beneficial? Beneficial? To the beer. Generous. Generous. No, it's beneficial. Yeah, it's... It is beneficial to the beer, because the beer is actually like a two. And by me giving it a four, it's doing wonders for the beer's marketing. <laughs> yeah, like... Thanks, Misha. <laughs> You're, You're welcome, Misha. <laughs> You're an idiot and I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm going to be kind of cut through here, and I am going to give it a two, because, like, the market is so flooded with winter ales and Christmas ales and all ales of these styles, especially this time of year, right. that, like, I don't know that it would even behoove you if we're going to use stupid words. What about horses? <laughs> <laughs> it's really hard to behoove a horse, you know. It's not that hard. You just need like a really sharp edge yeah. object. You just need like just a, make the dumb animal run into it. It's like a like a like a foot guillotine. Um, well, like there's so many of them on the market that this would not be worth your money. Hey, didn't we talk about a guillotine not too long ago? One of these days, I we talked yeah, about like the French about... Revolution and how this beer was like a guillotine. Maybe. Anyways, so I give it a. I'm gonna give it a two because, like, again. There's so many better winter ales. Yeah. Like, this was flat. Like, you can kind of get the spices on the back end, but, like, they were, like, it was too little, too late. And yeah. you know what? I'm just, I think I'm just disappointed because I was, like, really hoping for, you know, a thrash metal masterpiece here, and I got, like, just, like, a lame groove rock song. Right, like, I was hoping for um, <laughs> How It Be Thy Name, and yeah. I got Hooks in You. Oh. <laughs> I'll yeah. give it a three, I got like, and I'm done. Yeah, I got like a Pantera song. <laughs> yeah. Dude, Pantera's fucking sweet, I'll fight you! Pantera sucks. <laughs> Alright, well, we're gonna be right back with like something that... We'll give you, yeah, we'll give something you something better that than actually behooves Christmas Eve. Yeah, right. actually Love you. Be right de back. feeds horses. <laughs> okay, so we couldn't end with this. Yeah, this that is was this is this not winter, the yeah. uh, it's not befitting the end of the advent calendar. So we had done a winter ale, holiday ale. holiday ale, and Dad, well, did not finish in the top. Did not win. It is a fucking delicious beer. Yeah, and it far beats this winter ale, and it's the only one of those ones that I happen to actually have on hand. So, so if you look at it, it has a beautiful color. With, <laughs> and it has a really good story. Hi, Thirsty, I'm Dad. Dad joke. This hoppy red ale sports a robust malt. Bill? Bill. 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 <laughs> as an ample, That's a very dad name. Yeah. As ample and snug as a well-worn flannel. Throwing on a pair of oversized sneakers that break all known fashion laws. Dad mows acres of dank piney hops uphill both ways in the snow. Keep it up and I'll turn this can around. Fuck yeah, Ryan Geist. I have to say, I, I love you, but I would never listen to you read poetry. <laughs> you actually have <laughs> listened to me read poetry. It's and different. you liked it. <laughs> well, yeah. Fair enough. Okay. I wasn't pretty drunk at that point. Fair enough. Pretty drunk. I, I don't remember what the color of that other thing was. 
Was it this color? It was not. No. 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 Oh my god, that is far and away so much better. Mm. It's not even close. Wow! But see, here's the thing though. The holiday ales, when they're brewed, they're always brewed a little differently. Mm -hmm. Like the, the, the recipe is the same, but how many times have you made a dish that you've made over and over again? And it's always been just slightly different. Uh, never. I always make my dishes to perfection. Gordon Ramsay yells at me if I don't. <laughs> but like, it was, um, <clears throat> like, but there have been make it that tinfoil hat. Yeah, I, there do, have been I love years, those. There have been years where Great Lakes Christmas sale has been garbage. It's overrated yeah, to begin yeah, with. Yeah, First, we're gonna cut that. We love you, Great Lakes. <laughs> <laughs> but money, please. <laughs> money, please. <laughs> <laughs> But, like, it's one of those rotating beers. So, like, I fucked up my chili before. I have. I'll admit it. But there are sometimes, sometimes I nail it. Noah, stop talking about your chili. It's been 20 minutes, and Noah keeps talking about his chili. So it's good chili. It's not great chili. Right, no. Everybody loves your chili, okay? That's all I can do. It's like you, the only recipe I know. You do it so well. Your chili... I remember the time you made white chili, and it was it was cool. We had a chili cook-off, and you totally won. When did I make white chili? I don't know, but you totally you won. You just made that. You're just trying to make. You're just trying to say that to make you feel better. You I totally won. I Didn't he win, Brandon? Look, yeah, he absolutely won. Okay. okay. My chili was okay. terrible. You know what? We got. <clears throat> we got on a chili diatribe. Yeah, we lost sight of what's important here, and that's Beer. dad. Mm -hmm. Or rather, George. what I was trying to say I mean, at the beginning, that George and then we started cool. rambling, as back. we started rambling, as it's, we it's do. in the name, come yeah. on. Okay, holiday ales are brewed seasonally, which means they, you know, they're rotating, which means they don't brew them all the time every year like they do their flagship beer. So every year they brew the holiday ales. What I was trying to say was sometimes when you make, you know, when you make your signature dish, that thing you be made, careful here. Don't get on. Don't get on that tangent again. I'm not going to even mention my chili. You just did. You just did. <laughs> <laughs> what okay. I'm saying is, they make it every year. Later. <laughs> like they go from the same recipe, but something in the brewing process. It's a brewing process. It's chemistry. Things can. Listen, I don't need your science, mysticism, witch doctor stuff, okay? Okay. It's good beer. Long story short, Dad rota rotating, rotating beers like that can fluctuate in quality from year to year based on the brewing process. I don't know. When you, like, change positions, it's pretty cool. And that never gets old. Wait, is it more than missionary? <laughs> Let me tell you, sir. There's just one more. Yeah, <laughs> where you fall asleep during missionary. <laughs> it's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's called Sleepy Husband. <laughs> I think I uh, mastered that one. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good. So, anyways, we couldn't leave you with the O'Shea's weak ass winter rail. Yeah, so actually, what I'm proposing. That long-winded, like, diatribe where you about made me feel chilly. really bad about myself. You're fine. Which, I mean, You'll that's, get over that's, it. Yes, You'll drink it out. It's You'll nothing, drink it out. It's not the first nothing time. New. Yeah. But what I'm proposing is we go back to that same winter ale episode we did. I want to do it again. I want to see what you guys pick. Like, I want to see if you guys land that same spread in the same array or if you think they're different. Because, if we're blindfolded? Yes. Because, like I said, they're rotating and that quality has that variance. Well, so, that and our taste buds change. You slough off taste buds, whatever, like... Seven years. Well, it hasn't been that long, but you know what? Maybe... Okay, it, since we that did it last, last year... Right, but that implies that during that seven-year period, your taste buds are constantly changing. No, they they're not. Too, they're the same, <laughs> but at the end of seven years, your tongue falls <laughs> off, <laughs> and you grow a new tongue. While you're sleeping, right? Yeah, yeah it's, like, it's like losing a tooth, and then it just comes back. Yeah, you swallow your tongue, and a new one... Yeah, started. like that time in fifth grade when that kid punched my tooth out, it just came back. No, it's like yeah. a lizard tail. It just... Bloop, and hey, it I don't want to be implied in any lizardry. Okay, I'm not Hillary Clinton. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Hey, okay, so we're going to end on that. So, Dad's is the better bet for uh, ending your uh, advent calendar with a week. <laughs> and if you have Rheingeist it just area, falls out please. because you're sad and unhealthy. Please, buy quality Rheingeist beer. Money, please. <laughs> 
Ryan Geist is fucking awesome. Ryan Geist. Love Geist. you, Ryan Geist. Hey, we'll see you in the future with more Rambling Nave episodes. We're regular ass dudes who drink beer in the basement. You should come and like hang out and subscribe and but shit. Don't hang out. No, no, no. Like hang out, but on the internet because we like you. And one day, hang out maybe we'll have what's called an AMA, which is an Ask Me Anything, but it'd be Ask Us Anything, and we can't like be held accountable for what we say. <laughs> so we'll see you. We'll in the do that sober. <laughs> yeah, we're not. We're not gonna do that. We'll see you in the future. Thanks for coming. Love you. Bye. Goodbye.